So we all know like the concepts of utopia versus dystopia and if you don't or like don't know the difference, quick explanation. Utopia is very, very good world. Dystopia is very, very bad world. Um, incredibly simply, there's a lot more that goes into it, but that's basically the premise. And I just wanted to talk about how though extreme like wings of utopia and dystopia are almost impossible like you couldn't have an entire dystopian world and you couldn't have a uh, entire utopian world uh, in terms of a thousand percent either way with no variation at all those are you know just fictional they're not possible you can have sort of aspects of both you could have um a world that is you know 95 percent either way um and a very interesting thought also a very scary thought because of course dystopia is terrifying but there's also sort of a though it is you know very blissful and seemingly the most beautiful thought you can have utopia is very um i don't say scary but it's your mind just doesn't seem flexible enough to warrant that it doesn't seem you know like enough to live in like if there's no bad how do we you know develop as humans how do we sort of build our strength if we're never tested if everything's happy how do we know what anything is basically and um i'm going to talk about a sort of specific sort of sect of that not really a sect but just um sort of a, a type of utopia that is both a utopia and a dystopia and i'm going to refer to it as feigned utopia because that sounds like a cool name and also it kind of makes sense um so what I mean by feigned utopia is um, a world that is inherently shit and bad, but every person in it living in that world is in a state of utopia. They find life as ecstasy. They love every moment. They fucking couldn't, can't, couldn't want more. They love living in the world they live in every moment is like happiness but also they're not thinking for themselves they're not working for themselves they're just you know being bombarded with uh dopamine and endorphins to make them happy and it's the chemicals and the stimulus that's stopping them from realizing that behind that everything's really shit and you know it, it's very um not possible it's very it seems very unlikely but um i think the only way if it were to happen the only way it could reasonably happen if one individual or a group of individuals and this is sort of a trait it's usually a group in um fiction um but if an individual rose up to such an extreme position of power like leader of the galaxy controller of time and they had power over everything and that person was just the way the weight bearer for all the responsibilities and took away everyone's free will and freedom and replaced it with just living in a state of sort of fake happiness like they they're convinced that they're you know in the best state they can be because they don't know any alternative and you know you, you see a lot in um dystopian fiction types of things that do this is a sort of uh censorship you know but they ban books they ban uh tv they ban mass communication you can't talk about certain things you can't have certain conversations you can't be a certain way politically and they convince you that it's just that is the devil basically and without that you're better off because you're happy now you feel happy you feel good and you wouldn't if you had all these things but this happiness you're feeling is feigned it's fake and it's just the world is told to you in such a way that you can't feel these things because they're taken away from you and yes they could make you more upset but they would also make you feel more real they would give you substantial emotions and ideas you would actually exist rather than just you know basically being strapped up to an IV of happy pills um like we need the three thinking we need our own ability to have our own ideas to have our own takes and concepts and to be given more and to take more we can't just have a standard that everyone is given that's just fake happiness as i'm saying that's not a real 
it would never be a real utopia, it would be a feigned utopia, and at the core it would be a dystopia because uh, of the surveillance and the control and the restriction that is creating this happiness, big uh, speech marks, quotation marks around that, because it just isn't going to be happy, though it would seem like absolute happiness. It is, you know, absolute tyranny as opposed to absolute bliss. It is a dictatorship that um, is just would be satisfying that one person's power, like kink and their, their want for control, because it just would be exactly the opposite of what it seems it is, you know, on what every person is experiencing. They would have no way of knowing it isn't, but it is. It's, it's a very weird concept and it's hard to get your head around because of how far from this world it is but how realistic and unrealistic at the same time it is but think about it um yeah